Welcome to a screencasting on how to do an optic. I'm Ms. Venable, your optic assistant. That's all I've got today. Okay, so an optic, of course, you've got the definition here. So let's break down the image I have in front of you. I've taken this from National Geographic because I think it's pretty nifty. And we're going to do an optic with it. Okay, step one, O for optic, overview. So the first thing you're going to do is kind of look at the image as a whole. Okay, here's what I've got. My first sentence. This image is the mouth of a crocodile. Cool, that's my overview. Moving on, P, P for parts. Now, this literally means I'm going to take each element apart in front of me. My image is pretty simple, but you might need to break yours up into sixth or maybe ninths to make those quadrants work out for you. Okay, here's what I've got. The image looks textured with strangely shaped scales that look bumpy. Each of the scales are greenish brown in color with little black dots inside of them. The center of the photo is a twin row of sharp, bright white teeth. There are 12 teeth total. They rest against the scales. Some of the scales look moist, but there are not any water droplets on the crocodile. Next up, T, title. The title of this photograph is Crocodile, comma, Serengeti by Paul Coleman, which gives both the subject of the photo and the place it was taken. I like that. Just like the image, the title is very simple. Okay, that's literally all you need to say here. You can, of course, look for specific things, and I would. What is the title trying to tell you? Well, mine's not really very hard. He's pointing out the simplicity of what the image he's taken. Okay, I, interrelationships. This is the most difficult part of an optic. You now need to take what you've seen from the overview, from the parts, and from the title and connect them. This is your thought process. Okay, I've already gone over the title, so it's where I'm gonna continue. I like that just like the image, the title is very simple. Additionally, the image is very symmetrical. The top lip looks very similar to the bottom lip, but they're divided by the teeth. Also, the way the image focuses in on the teeth makes them look bigger and thus more intimidating. I think the photographer is, is looking at the pattern in the crocodile skin and trying to share the beauty in the pattern. The crocodile has an irregular pattern in its scales, but they also seem very alike. Also, the mouth of the croc seems very symmetric, but the photographer doesn't ignore the danger there either. Finally, sea of optic, conclusion. These are your thoughts. Coleman photographs the teeth, which seem very large in the image. I believe the photographer wants to point out the beauty in nature without detracting from the danger. It presents a very neat balance. So this is my optic over Crocodile Serengeti by Paul Coleman. If you have questions about how this was done or how to get this completed, you might contact me or Ms. Wiebesek. Also, if you'd like to see the text of what I've written, you can look down below in the comments section of your blog.